Welcome to the studio, Froyal here. I know you're going to love this. Happy Sunday, yippee! I'm so glad you're here joining me on this mighty adventure of 100 days of collage. Yay! We are in week three, and this week we are venturing into the dramatic contrast of black and white. I absolutely love using black and white. I love the contrast of it. I love the juxtaposition of the light and the dark. And of course, I'm going to have way too many papers and ideas to fit on my beautiful art journal. Now I've got some fabulous textured papers. I've got some wonderful craft papers. I've got this one here is from the Trade Aid shop. That is glorious. Oh, so also we're allowed to put metallic pigments and metallic colors into the black and white as well because you know i do need a bit of bling i have to have a bit of bling so it's black and white with some metallic bling i've got serviettes to use i love using serviettes in collage i've got some little images and papers from out of my drawers of course i have an abundance of gel prints that are absolutely glorious can't wait to pull all these ones out now this is some of the painted tissue i've showed you before how to do the white tissue put on the ink spray it with water it creates the most incredible patterns and marks and i absolutely love it talking about mark making i have all of these beautiful papers absolutely love this mark making on this watercolor paper and I think we should just stop for a minute and I'll show you my favorite brush for creating marks on the paper. Have a look at this. Okay, so this is my favorite brush. Now it is my favorite right now. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's gonna be that way in a month's time. Just letting you know, right now, my favorite brush is a cheap, a pastry brush from the dollar store because I'll show you why. It's absolutely amazing. Look at the incredible marks that it makes. It's a freedom of expression, you know, like the abstract expressionists. Oh, absolutely love these marks that it makes. I love the drips, I love the lines, and I just love the way you can flick it about it's extremely flexible and it just makes a beautiful pattern. Look at this, it's absolutely incredible. To me, the marks are very free and that's what I particularly like about it. Now I'm going to take this beautiful piece of watercolor paper and use it in the collages that we're doing this week and it's just gonna be amazing. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it, it's incredible. <laughs> now, uh, we're going to do black and white, yes, but we're also allowed to use metallic colors because I have to have a little bit of bling in everything. So what about if we make one of these in gold? Yes. Okay, you twisted my arm up my back. I'm getting out the gold. Yay. Now, this is a gold that I bought on Amazon, Brilliant Gold Ink Gold Mica. I think it's a calligraphy ink. It is amazing as far as its goldness. Look at that. That's just like pure gold bars melted down. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It is pretty thick and very intense. You might not like it. It might be too much for you, but you know... I just love it. Look at that. That's incredible. So I'm just going to splash around some beautiful gold ink on my fabulous watercolor paper because then I'm going to rip sections out to put in our collages this week. And it's going to be amazing. I'm doing bigger marks this time and not so uh, close together because I want to do separate elements that I can tear out and use 
with the beautiful black and white. So loving that. That is fantastic. You can get it on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Look at it. Oh, it's just beautiful. Now, I've got another idea. <laughs> Why don't we put the gold onto some black tissue? Yes! I think I might have one piece. Let me see if I can go find it. That is just glorious. See how one idea just leads into the next, I tell you. And then we end up in a creative frenzy. So this is recycled black tissue. It came wrapped around something. And I'm like, well, why not, right? Heck yes. Look at that. That's just amazing. Look at the incredible, beautiful impact on the black. Even just the line itself is beautiful. And then if you get a little bit swirly with it, it makes these beautiful marks. They're very, um, like I said, they're very free to me. I like that look about them. Look at that. Like That looks like a bird's wing. That's how it makes me feel in creating them. And that's to me how they look. So on this black tissue, I think... That is a really cool idea. I'm just loving it. You have to try this. Seriously, you have to try it. Just don't be scared. <laughs> Creativity is for the brave. What do you mean you're flicking it all over your dining room table? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I have done that, actually. Accidentally flick paint up the wall. What? <laughs> Oops, <laughs> that is just fantastic. And now this is on the black tissue. So I'll be able to pull out little elements to put in the collage. And I know it's a very strong gold. It's a very yellow gold and it's very intense and very strong. And you may or may not like that intensity, but come on, it looks amazing. <laughs> and it's going to look incredible in the collages with the black and white. Yay! Well, I did splash that round very nicely. I think we're good. I think we just need to, yay, see where these beautiful textured papers are going to lead us. Okay, so as you can see, I have way an abundance of beautiful prints and I've pulled them out of my drawers and my cupboards. So it's going to be endless. I also have some fabulous tissue that we can use because it's the right colors. I have some other little bits and pieces, and then I have some very precise mark making. See, I can be neat. <laughs> I can be neat. Look at me being all neat. <laughs> so that's fabulous too. And then, of course, I did get a little dramatic throwing my fabulous gold ink around. How could I not? It's just too glamorous. I have to. So I have these pieces as well. I also have some... Um, the fabulous prints of my, one of my paintings. I went through a season of doing uh, musical notes and notation and cellos. I was totally into this for like 10 years. It was a long season. <laughs> so I found some of these in my drawers, which are just um, laser prints of the paintings that I did. So, you know, there's bits and pieces everywhere. Not sure how it's going to go. Oh my gosh, I found one of these. Oh, this is the stencil of the thing, thing from PM Artist Studio. And I bought the bigger one, which I love stenciling with, but then they sent me these beautiful little ones as well. So that to me is a collage element. It's not a mask or a stencil. <laughs> so I'm going to be using that. Oh, I've got some of this beautiful wallpaper. It's got the black and bronze or allowed metallic colors. Just saying. That's going to work. Um, oh, my gosh. I know. I know. There's too many. Yes, there's too many for my little tiny hello art journal. Now, I'm finding that I'm developing as I'm creating this series and I'm absolutely loving it so much. I also love that you're playing. Oh, my gosh. That makes me so happy when I see in my Facebook group your posts and see what days you're up to and what you're creating. It just makes me happy because we're doing this together. 
I know you're here. I know you're watching. I know you're hanging out with me in the studio, giving me the answers I need <laughs> to the questions I ask. And I'm absolutely loving this whole process. Now, first of all, I've learned about myself is that I like the two page spread. It's a 20 centimeter or eight inch art journal that I'm using in case you're new to this fabulous um, adventure. And I like the two page spread. I like it to match and I like doing it at once. So we're going to do eight days. There's eight days in my week. Did you know? <laughs> we're going to do eight days because it's one collage per day. And I can't stop at seven. So we're going to do eight days each week. This week is black and white with metallic colors as well. So probably some gold. Maybe I should bust out some silver. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Definitely some bronze. Anyway, with the black and white. That's what we're doing. We're going to do eight. And I'm so excited. And I love black and white. So what are we going to start with? That's the question. Where I personally like to start is to use something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. Because if you find something that you really love, then you're going to be inspired to create an artwork around it. So maybe one of these glorious um, favorite brush of mine on the textured papers, maybe, maybe some of this, maybe some of that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have to look around and find what is compelling me the most so that we can start. I definitely have to have some black and gold. Ooh, but maybe I will I will not spin you out too quickly. I'll ease you into the dramatic contrast and the impact. Ah, just love it. All right, let's get going. Let's create us some beautiful collages, have some fun, and yay, week three. Right, I think I'm going to start with these pieces. I love this. Where did it come from? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I just pulled it out of my drawer. And that's what you've got to do. Loving this piece. Do I want it on or under? What I like about black and white is just the juxtaposition of the dark and the light. And I love that. Really, you can't get it too wrong. It can't really clash too badly. So, you know, oh, yes. Don't stress out too much about it. Just have fun. Create something beautiful and it'll all be okay. If you don't like it, you can change it. Do I want that under or over? That's the question. Under or over? I know. There's so many questions. Under or over? <laughs> so that's going to go like that. I'm not sure exactly. I will probably come back and put some other little pieces or some highlights of it on it because what i like about black and white is that you can do that that looks great i'm starting with that just like that that easy that quick we're not mucking around well not yet anyway uh, we might get to that place but at the moment we're just going to start we're going to get stuck into it and we're just going to put it down um, I'm not going to stress too much about it or overthink it because I will probably come back once it's dried and add some little highlights or some other elements. And let's face it, if we've got black, white and then some metallic colours, you haven't got too much choice to stress about. And that can be a really good thing. I'll trim off the edges later. Otherwise, mm, I tend to cut things a little short. It's so annoying. Well, that's a great start. I'm pretty happy with that. I love these beautiful free marks here that I do with my fabulous favorite pastry brush. I absolutely loving it right now so much. Uh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to let that dry. But 
you know, you can change things as you go along if you don't like something. So don't stress out, just get some paper on your substrate, whether you're doing a canvas or an art journal or a piece of paper, doesn't matter. Just get some collage paper onto it and get yourself moving. Because once you get moving, you will then find more inspiration to keep going and you can change things as you move along. Yay, first day, half done, and I'm pretty happy about that. Now I'm liking this piece right here. So I might just keep going. Now that's a great start. Look at us go. Right, so the pages are dried and I gave them a little trim because it just looks more neat and tidy and that's how I like it. Now, and they need something. And seeing as I've given myself the boundaries of black and white metallic colors, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't go with what I normally would use, like some warm tones, some beautiful red or a deep violet or something. So, you know, why do we do this to ourselves? I'm not quite sure, but we have, we've taken on the challenge and we're going to rise above it. That's all I can say. Now I'm going to put a piece of the beautiful Agora lace over this section because it does dissolve quite transparent as it dries you just see the beautiful fibrous layers and I just felt like adding some texture to it because what I do love about just black and white is how you can add multiple layers of beautiful textures and combinations without it you know clashing or looking all like too much so there's a bonus right there but personally, I love saturated colors, so it could be a challenge to do eight collages in just black and white. However, we're going to do it. Now, that looks cool. That also unified that composition by putting that beautiful lacy paper over the top with all those glorious fibers. That will dissolve also a lot more as it dries. So I'm thinking, what about some of my fabulous circles that I have such an abundance of? These ones on the tissue in the bronze, we could get away with those. When you're making these circles, um, it's the final ghost print that you pull that just leaves the circle by itself. It's fabulous. I absolutely love it just so I can have beautiful elements for collage like this and able to tear them out and then use them in my collage. I absolutely love them. They do dissolve well on the tissue. They're easy to use. They're easy to tear out. So when you're using that, that fabulous circle template, you put it on, you pull the first print, it leaves the, the bare space on your paper. But then when you take off all the rest of the paint with the second print, the third one that's left is just the circle. And I love it so much. So do we want one? See, look at that. Already, it's much better. Do we want one? We could actually get away with one. Or do we want two? I actually don't know because, you know, one's looking pretty nice there by itself. I don't mind that. I don't. We'll have a little think about that. I was going to put two on there, but hmm, I don't know. I think the one's looking pretty nice. Now, what am I going to do on this side? I was thinking perhaps put a little section of it here just to bring that color across. Or maybe there. This is just an idea. I might not stick with this idea. 
So you know, bear with me while I think about it. Uh, it could go there, which would work. But then I was thinking of that beautiful, beautiful, hello, the beautiful gossamer paper. Yes, this is a paper. Can you believe it? I still can't believe it. Uh, that could look nice on there too. And if we had a bit of bronze underneath, that would just create more of an interest. Though I don't think that paper's working. Meh. <laughs> I'm going to have to find something else because that one wasn't making me happy. <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. What about if we use some of this paper with the bronze? It's just softer, basically, than the other paper. It's got to feel right. It's got to look right. Didn't tear right. But <laughs> But man, it's a day of it today. Seriously. <laughs> oh, it's not just not going easy for me today. <laughs> All right. But we won't give up. We'll keep plodding on. So what about if I put this one here? Do we want it to go right across? No, I don't want it to go right across. I just want it to go to here to bring a little bit of the bronze over because we're putting the bronze circle on the other side like that i like that much better much better much better right and then i'm still liking this idea maybe i'll put less of it on there yeah i can do less I'm so good at doing less <laughs> now do we want that to go right over do we want to cut it like that? Do we want to have the whole thing? You need to help me out. I'm having a tough day today. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I'm going with that. We're making quick decisions. We're not going to be labour intensive about it. We're making fast decisions. That's what I'm going to do. Not messing around. I'm going to stick that on. And then we're moving on fast. Not mucking around today. <laughs> okay, the pages are just dry enough um, because I want to move on. You know, I'm finding it hard to get into the mojo today, so I've just got to jump right in, get amongst it. I'm going to be dramatic. Look at this. Look at this. Now, <laughs> let me tell you about this piece. This piece came comes from a whole heap of other pieces because I had a great big collage that was black and white and stuck on paper packaging that was sitting behind my door in my studio. And then I decided, this is ridiculous. Been sitting there so long, I've forgotten what I actually was creating it for. It needs to go. It needs to become something else instead of sitting there. So I pulled it out, ripped it up, and threw some gold ink on it, which looks amazing, right? But, you know, I'm ch I'll challenge you that if you've got papers that have been sitting around for quite some time, so much time that you can't even remember what it was you were creating them for, then now's a really good time to pull them out and make them part of your 100 days of collage. It's a great way of using up gel prints, and old papers that have just been sitting around for way too long. So that's where this piece comes from. Uh, yes, I am going to get dramatic. It's going to happen. I'm kind of liking this gel print. Can I get away with it, putting this on with it? That's the question. Hmm. Maybe I could do some more of the beautiful colored tissue. Oh, yeah, that might help. That might help. I think this side needs to be darker. So maybe we'll put that there and put something else there that's a bit darker. I think the silver tissue, getting away, get, I think that looks good. We can get away with that. I like this. It looks, I know. I know, right? I ripped this thing to shreds and I'm like, why has, is it still sitting there? I cannot even remember what it was that I was making. So if this 
project is such a fabulous way to pull out these old things and go, you know, I just don't need to be keeping that anymore. What about that? What do you think? I know it's dramatic. I'm being dramatic because that's just how my day is going. We're being dramatic. What about that? That's pretty, pretty darn. Wow, that's dramatic. Yeah, it is. Do we need something else on it? No, we could just pull this into the center and we could just simply do that. And then I should probably put something, another piece of it. What about we put another piece of it this side? Okay, that's not a bad idea. I've had worse. <laughs> what about this piece? That's still got the gold on it and the grey. I kind of like this piece. I could put this piece on here. See, look, I'd stuck two paper packaging because I was making something. I just can't remember what I was actually making. Oh, man. So let's put that this side. It's a bit big. It's going to make my page really fat. Does that matter? Pfft, doesn't matter to me. But, and then I'll have to think of something for the background. Oh yeah, it's all very dramatic, isn't it? We could do with a little lightening up of something. What about some of these? These are pretty. Could we do pretty? Can we put some pretty stuff on here? What about if we put that along the bottom? Oh, that's not a bad idea. And then that comes down like that instead of the gray breaks it up a bit oh what if it goes down the side oh that's even better okay you win that's a great idea let's put it down the side let's put that there like that put that down the side and we'll cut it there and then we'll put this dramatic piece on that side and we'll make the background black or gray or something okay all right see see we're now we're starting to move along all right Let's go with that. I know it's dramatic, but, you know, what can I say? I'm feeling it. All right, that's looking pretty good. So should we add that on there like that? Oh, that's right. I was going to put something else on that side. Almost forgot. <laughs> so this paper is from Trade Aid, which is the uh, shop in town that supports artisans in other countries. I think this paper came from Bangladesh. Or India, not sure. That looks pretty nice. Yes, it does. Just as well I remembered it in the last minute. <laughs> Let's put it on there. I'll do the next pages lighter, I promise. I won't be so intense. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Right, that's looking really interesting. It should dry eventually. <laughs> what are we doing for the background over here? Hmm, I could paint it. I could paint it. Or I could add some silver or I could add some of these jelly prints. Maybe some of these jelly prints. I think it needs to be dark, like it needs to be black. But I want it textured. Better if I use the back of this paper. I mean, it's handmade paper. But that could work. It's just beautiful. It could work. Yeah, that looks pretty dramatic. Oh, man, I'm just going to have to. What about if I put that on there? And then, because it's a little short, this end, I could put something under it. Where's a little edge piece? That's what I need. Where's my scrap bag? <laughs> oh, man, finally I found it. See a little edge piece? That came off a different jelly print. And that was just what was left. I could put this underneath on the edge here. And so I could even take a little bit more of that and give that a little bit more like that. These edges are beautiful on this paper. And then we could put that on there like that. Oh man, that's dramatic. That's dramatic. <laughs> Seriously. 
That is seriously dramatic. I don't think I'll take anything off it, actually. I'll just put that on there like that. What do you think? Oh, man. That's dramatic. Yep, well, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, and then I promise you the next page is going to be nice and light. But this one, she's dark and dramatic. <laughs> That's serious. Man, this art journal is never going to shut by the time I do 100 of these pages. That's crazy. All right, I'm doing it. I'm telling you, I'm doing it. You can't stop me. This paper is this handmade beautiful handmade paper from bangladesh it feels like velvet it's so amazing absolutely beautiful trim that off there that's got that little bit of edge on it there and also shows off that beautiful raw edge of the paper trim that off there oh my gosh that is just glorious Right, where's this going to go? I'm thinking right there. Now, this piece is a little thick and it does have touch points for the page, but it probably won't all be stuck down because um, it's got an uneven back backing on it. But, you know, it will stick enough to stay there. Maybe I should have used PVA because PVA is a lot stronger than the matte medium. I guess I didn't think about it until now. <laughs> and now it's too late. <laughs> nah, it'll stick, it'll stick. It's just going to require some persistence to hold it down till it takes. Man, I need to lighten up. <laughs> But what can I say? It's the global condition. I'm feeling it today. You know what we need? Oh, I just had another brilliant idea. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll have a look and see if my idea works before I shoot my mouth off. All right. Hold the phone, caller. I'll get this stuck down and then we'll see if I think my brilliant idea is as brilliant as it was two seconds ago. All right. This is going to work. It's going to work. I'm going to go and get a book to lay on it for a bit. <laughs> That'll help. But I did have an idea. I'm like, I need something to symbolize peace because I'm totally distressed over the global condition. I mean, seriously, seriously. Can you believe you'd see such things in your lifetime? No, I didn't. So I'm like, okay. I went and pulled out my beautiful packet of feathers because I'm like, what about, is this too much? Is this dumb? <laughs> like, but, you know, it's my art. I can do what I like. But I'm thinking I want to put a symbol of peace on these pages because I'm feeling distressed today and they're dark and dramatic enough to handle it. What do you think? I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I'm going to put this beautiful white feather as a symbol of peace right there in my artwork. And then I'm going to put a book on both sides to weight them down and I'll let them dry overnight and we'll continue tomorrow. There's a plan. Maybe I won't feel so distressed tomorrow, but pff, doubt it. Anyway. I'm liking these pieces. I know they're dramatic, but that's what my art's all about. It's always dramatic. And I'm usually always creating where I'm at, what's happening in my life. So it's pretty apt, really. I'm just, uh, PVA, which I should have put on that. I'm just going to put PVA glue on the bottom half of it because I think that's all it needs to actually adhere to the page. And then I'm going to put something heavy on both sides and let it dry overnight. And then we'll continue tomorrow. But I just feel the need to do this on this beautiful page with its drama. See, I've just got the PVA glue on the bottom half of the feather. That's going to work. 
What do you think? I think it works. Um, for me, my art is always about where I'm at, what's happening in my world, how I'm feeling. That's just how I am. It's like um, my art comes from inside out. I create really from the core of who I am as a person. I'm not a kind of person that looks at something and gets inspired by that and recreates it. I'm more of an abstract expressionist where I actually create out of the abundance of my emotions and feelings and it can be quite active. So that's just how I am and that's how I create. So today I needed to have just a little symbol of peace because the world's gone mad. There's my symbol of peace. Peace. Ah, amongst the darkness. That looks pretty cool. All right, I'm happy with that. It's intense, it's dramatic, but it has a little element of hope. And that is really what I'm all about. So I hope you are enjoying these pages. I'm going to now let this dry. I'm going to go find a heavy book to put on it. And we'll pick this up again tomorrow for the next page. And maybe I won't be so dramatic. But, <laughs> but I'm not promising you anything. I might be just as dramatic tomorrow. Righto. Let's let that dry and we'll see where we're at. Right, so my pages have all dried up. It is now the next day and everything is looking beautiful. I'm really happy with how these pages have dried up. I know. They're a little intense and yesterday I was feeling it. It's the stress of the global situation and it's just so overwhelming. I just never thought I would see this happen in my lifetime. The events that are unfolding are just crazy. Anyway, I was just feeling it and I'm expressing this through the colors and the shapes. And then I added my little piece of hope because that's just how I am as a person. There's always got to be some glimmer of hope in life. <laughs> it just has to be. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So my beautiful white feather is my hope for peace. Now, when I stuck glued it on, I needed to add a little piece of washi tape to hold it in place, and I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool. I stuck it there to hold it, and I'm like, you know, I'm going to leave that on there. It looks fabulous, and symbolically, I really think that piece of, at the moment is like uh, stuck together with a little piece of tape. I don't know. I don't know that it's going to hold across the planet. So, you know, we've got to keep creating, keep our chins up and keep pushing on because, you yeah, know, we've only got each other and we've got to keep cheering each other on. Two, three, four, five of week three. How exciting. I'm loving how this series is coming together. I love what we're working on. I love that you're joining me in my Facebook group. Oh my gosh, you got no idea how happy that makes me to see your beautiful collages and you put your little hashtag, 100 days of collage, and it makes me happy because I feel that we're together in creating this series. And at the moment, I'm really needing this. I need to have that connection with you and the creativity and the art. Otherwise, life is just too overwhelming because right now we're here in this moment. We're creating something beautiful. It's all I'm focused on is the colors and the shapes and the textures that I want to use and everything else just kind of fades to the background. So just for in this moment, Everything's okay. And right now, my brain needs those little moments. I'm telling you, I'm needing this right now. So, you know, don't give up on me. Stick with me. We'll get through this. Um, the next page, I'm wanting a pop of light and bright because these pages are intense, very meaningful, and I love them. But let's get a pop of bright and light I'm loving this stencil still. I know you've heard me rave on about Julie's messy writing stencil. I just love it. I still love it. And I'm going to use this piece. Now, the thing is, when I create, 
papers on the gel plate in a creative frenzy a lot of the time at night time i do a whole heap of different variety of colors and textures and shapes and then when it comes to creating something like this brilliant idea um, i've got a huge amount of papers to draw from so it's just fun what i find is you get on a bit of a roll when you're creating papers especially on the gel plate and if you do a whole heap at once in different color combinations um, you'll have a whole heap to use when you're going to create your beautiful collages so that's why i end up using a lot of the same stencils um, in different combinations because i've created them all in a frenzy uh, one night in my studio going crazy that's how it happens for me that's how i like to create so i have another one of these beautiful messy writing uh, stencils i think we're going to start with that we need to trim it off that side because clearly that's not straight Meh. not so good at straight and then i'm going to put this on this half so i'll chop that in half i think hmm, do i like it that way this one is a tim holtz stencil i also used that the other day and this print comes from the impression plates I did a whole episode on using wallpaper, creating impression plates with molding paste, and that's where this print's come from, and it's fabulous. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm wanting to continue my feather. My, oh my gosh, can you believe it? What is the wheel coming to? Maybe I need less. I might trim that a bit more, and I'm gonna put it there, I think. I'm thinking, or I might put that on top of it. I'm not sure. Anyway, something like that's going to happen. Right, so I'm absolutely loving these textures. Oh my gosh, these papers are glorious. This paper, this feather paper, that's just from the, you know, a craft pack of papers. I just love it. There's so many beautiful ones out there that you can get and quite inexpensive. Look at that. That's that messy writing stencil, but look how unique and different that looks on, looks like put it on tissue because the background's completely dissolved so i've put white on tissue you can't even tell it's the messy writing stencil it's just all this really cool texture and shape loving it absolutely loving it love my feather it's just you know a little bit of a nod to hello how about some peace in the world I'll tell ya telling ya gosh what the heck's going on uh this is a fabulous texture plate print and that is looking beautiful i'll trim the sides off once it dries a bit yay oh can you just feel the light <laughs> let's just bathe in the light for a moment <laughs> i know dramatic much i know now i'm going to add this beautiful collage element you might think that this is a stencil from pm artist studio and you could be correct, but it is also a beautiful collage element because clearly it's gorgeous and it needs to go on there. I've got the bigger one that makes a fabulous stencil, but this smaller size is a glorious collage element. Just saying what they cut those stencils out of is fabulous. It looks so beautiful in itself. I'm going to put it right there, and that makes me happy. Yay! It just looks great. It's a fabulous um, shape. I love the swirl of it. I guess I am a bit of a swirl person. At the moment, you know, I change. I'm just saying. <laughs> My stuff doesn't always stay the same, and that's just how I am. Every month is a new thing. I find a new stencil or a new color or texture or shape and I'm all over it like a hot rash for that moment. And then there's something else new and shiny that comes along and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. That just is how I am. Look at that. That is just fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. You know, that kind of almost looks like music to me. I um, did have a very strong season of painting and expression of music. And I was thinking of adding that in the next page. 
I've got some of these black and white printables that are just basically copies of my paintings that I did some, what, 10 years ago? It's been a while. What do you think? Shall I use them? I don't know. Now I'm not so sure. I was confident for a moment, but now I'm like, I don't know. Do I want to use them or do I want to go in a different direction? I could use some leftover from that. That might be all right on there as well. Maybe. Oh, I don't mind the leftovers idea. Um, I'm liking that feel with the music. I think it's very musical. You know, I might. I'm um, My second Skillshare class, I did a whole class on using the cellos, provided beautiful printables, and we created collage with the feeling of music using some beautiful um, flowing paint creating the musical notes. It's fabulous. You need to check it out if you're into the idea of using cellos, playing with music and creating beautiful collage. Of course, that one's in all the deep, rich colors. This is just one that I created at the same season. My season went for like, you know, 10 years. It was a, <laughs> it was a nice season. What do you think? Shall I go with that? Are we liking this idea or do we think there's something better on the horizon? Because I do have quite a few papers here. Okay, well, maybe we could. You know, there's nothing wrong with these beautiful paintings. They're just like, you know, a different season ago. But that's okay. That's okay. I think we'll go with it. Let's work with it. I pulled it out of my box of bits. We could put that there. I like that idea. We could put that there, but I don't know if I want to repeat that because I want that to be a special feature over there. So, and I do have endless options. What about we pull in some of this because this would go nicely with that color. Yes, I do like that idea. We could even just rip it off the bottom, take it up to about there. That's kind of a cool idea. We'll just cut this bottom bit. Put that like that, glue that on there, and then that's really matching that color nicely. We could have, we could still put that shape on there. You see, that's another painting from the same time. I know it was a season, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> we could, oh, we could use some of my favorite mark making at the moment with my brush of choice. Oh my gosh, I love this pastry brush. That's on quite a thick piece of watercolor paper. If we put that like that and that like that, maybe we get rid of this. Okay. Okay, we're getting rid of that. <laughs> there we go, it's gone, it's gone. Put that there, put that there, see that? Oh my gosh, just the flow and the feeling of those lines and shapes. Oh, just love it so much. I'm gonna trim the edge and I'm cutting it because it is right on the edge of that paper. It's almost cut straight. <laughs> I'm not good at cutting straight. Now, is that going on top or under? Ooh, we've changed all the shapes now. It's going under. That's under, like that. What do we think about this idea? Right now, it's all about the freedom. Ooh, I tell ya, it is. The fight for freedom is what it's all about. Love these expressive marks. Right, so that's all going like that, and then that's going on there like that. Are we in? Are we in? Totally we're in. Look at that. Ta-da! Just like that. We've got a whole other page going on. Righto, I'm going to stick that down, and then we'll see where we're at. Well, that's all stuck down well, and considering that was rather a fast decision... <laughs> I don't think it's too bad. I think it's okay. So that's the uh, just a printout of one of my paintings for, from so long ago in that series, uh, which was inspired by this shape here. That, to me, I used to do a lot of musical notes, writing with a fluid paint, and that is what it looks like to me. So that beautiful um, collage element here, which P&M think is a stencil, um, <laughs> inspired 
me to use my past season of the beautiful cellos and the musical notes. You know, I think it's okay. I'm loving that text. That is the Julie one again on the um, Believe script that one is. And that's Julie's one again with the messy writing. Even though you can't really tell what these stencils are, I know what they are. So I'm telling you in case you want to experiment with them because seriously, they look fabulous. I'm really happy with this. Although I want something here in a warm tone. I need some bronze. What can I say? I do need some bling. So maybe I might use some of this fabulous wallpaper. I love this wallpaper. I got it from an interior furnishing or design show. Or did I get it from the one with the cafe? Oh, I think I got this one from the one with the cafe. Because, you know, I was frequenting there just a little um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my hole punch actually. Let's do that. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to put get a hole. I've got a twofold idea. What about if I use this for the next page? That's one idea. And then I also use that fabulous circle. As you can see, I didn't measure it. Right? <laughs> Things might work better for you if you measure. But this is my idea. I'm loving the black with the bronze. I think it's just glorious. Ooh, maybe I like it that way. Um, it's a fabulous pattern. The colors are working. We're allowed to have the metallic with our black and white because oh, I need it. I just need a little bit of bronze. Bit of bling. So... Punch some circles with my fabulous, I think it's a two inch circle punch. And there we are. That's what we have. Beautiful, aren't they beautiful? They're wallpaper. So this is the choice. I'm only putting one and I'm putting it right there. But which one do we want? We've got that one, which has got a lot of the beautiful bronze. How fabulous does that look? That looks so good. Oh, I'm loving this. That one or that one. That's nice, maybe a bit too structured. Or this one. I don't mind that. That could go either way. Which one? One, two, or three? One, two, or three. <laughs> um, here they are. Here they are. <laughs> I know. I'm getting silly again. All right. Let's go. I'm going with that. I think just a little bit of black. I think it kind of... Um, really connects with that movement of my beautiful collage element there of the stencil thing. Um, and I think I also, I like it because it's got that same kind of feel up there. Yeah, these are beautiful too, but it's personal choice. You might agree with me, you might not. You might be screaming at your screen going, no, no, choose the other one. <laughs> but too late, I've done it. And it's going on, oh, yes, right there. I love that. That is beautiful. That makes me happy. And those two pages are done. Yippee. I'm, um, I'm going to use this definitely for the next page spread. I'm definitely going to use this. I'm not exactly sure yet what we're using with it, but... We're definitely using this, and this is a starter. All right, at least we're starting on the next page idea. So we need to keep going, right? I mean, you could take a break. I had a break. I had a break yesterday. Break down. No, just a break. <laughs> and I'm a bit more rested today. I can cope with the world again. But, you know, I figured we may as well continue because if you want to have a break, you can push pause on the video, like, hello. You might have already done that three times. So I'm figuring we're going to keep going because you can just pause it if you need a break. And um, we're on a roll. Oh, that's pretty solid. That's solid. That's why that's so solid. It's all right, but hey, I think it's okay. Loving it. It's just a little lighter and brighter. We're going to be okay. This has got to dry. And then we're going to do the last two pages. And I'm definitely doing something with this. So I need to put something under these fabulous circles. 
what are we going to do with that i've got 300 black and white possible options here on the table so all right let's decide next page is what we're going to do right so a good blast of the heat gun and i think we're ready to go the pages are still a little soft but you know we've got to push on we've got things to create <laughs> i love it i'm loving it. it they're just beautiful pages little reminiscence there of the past um beautiful stencils and collage elements i'm loving that tiny bit of bronze it makes me happy and now we're going to use that one that i cut the circles out for the next page so yippee let's motor on what else are we going to put with that beautiful bronze wallpaper i like to put the baking paper under my pages because i do splash matte medium everywhere yes i know i do so i'm going to use this definitely this is my starting point how much of it do i want on the page and what am I going to put underneath it? Do I want it halfway? Do I want it three quarters? I want it three quarters. I know that much. What am I going to put underneath it? Options are quite endless. We could go with something lighter and a completely different color or not. Um, that could work. Maybe. Baby. Or we could get something going really dramatic. Too much. Too much. I know. I know. It's too much. What about this one? This is laying next to me. That's a bit too the same. What about this? Oh, that section looks all right. Yes, yes, we could do that. We could put that there. Three quarters I'm liking, not half. That's too obvious. But there we could put that there and put it in the on the lighter side of the writing. That needs to, that just makes it. That's okay. So if that's right on the edge up there and we put that with the writing then we need to trick cut that there all right you can do that then what's going there and what's going here um i'm liking this which happens to be sitting next to me that's kind of cool i still like this pattern i think i've used it in one of the other pages could put that there yes we could we could we could um, loving this, loving this textural black textural paper that I did with the fabulous favourite brush of the moment. Oh, love this. I think we need some of this. I just do. Okay, we have to have some of this. I'm loving this section. Let's see if I can not rip it off. There. Oh, right on that edge. Hello, scrap bag, just saying. <laughs> It'll get used another day. Look at that. That's just glorious. And all of these marks, I mean, you can't repeat that, even if you try. What about we put it on like something like that and then put something behind it? That'll look really cool. So we could, we could even just make it like a feature of the page. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. So we'll rip that bit off. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. That is just beautiful. That'll come back another day. And what about if we just do it like this? Great organic lines. I love it. And then it becomes like a feature on the page, like that other collage that I did. I like that idea. It's simple, but we could do simple. We've done intense. <laughs> we can, we know how to do complicated. So why don't we just do simple? All right. So we've got to decide then if we're going to go with this idea, what are we going to put behind it? What color? Do we want it light, lighter? Do we want it darker? Mm, do we want jelly prints? Do we want some gold? Oh man. What is that gold I painted? Oh, I need some of that gold talking about it. All right, I'm going to hunt me up some of that gold that I painted. What about some of this gold tissue? I mean, look at this. That's amazing. Look at these marks. They're just beautiful. What about we use some of that? Is it too much? We can put it on this side. Okay. We could put it on that side. Oh, just love that. Just love it. Or we could put some... 
like that. That piece is gorgeous. That piece really is. Let's just rip that piece for a start. You know, I'm just not sure if this is going to work or not, but we're going to head in this direction and see how it pans out. That's really what you have to do. Start with an idea and head in that direction and see if it is going to work. That wasn't a very good tear, but, you know, you get that in the big dog. Righto, what if we put that beautiful black tissue with the stunning gold on the edge there? We put the writing underneath like that. Now, is that too much? Is that too clashing? Mm, it is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. I think you might be right. What about if we put it over this side? I still want it. And I want that, like that. I want a lot, don't I? I want that. And I want that. And I want that. And I want that. That could go next to the gold. That's going to work. And do we still want this underneath it? That's the question. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to start sticking some stuff down and trying the idea. Just make it work. I like the spontaneity of creating these collages in the moment. I love that. I love the quick decisions, but I do find it challenging. I think it's because I've got so many options. You know, there's so many beautiful papers here on my desk. If I look up and around, then I start questioning my choices. And that always ends badly. So let's start with putting this one down because I like this under the circles. And the bronze wallpaper with the cut circles was the first inspiration for the page. Oops, stink. So we're going to go with that. Now, don't stress out if you tear things as I do or rip things, or stick it wrong, or stick it crooked, <laughs> because you can fix it, you can fix anything, when it comes to collage, oh my gosh, there's so many ways to fix something, so don't stress out if you're hating something that you're working on, because you will be able to fix it, you can change it, you can add more paper to it, you can paint over it, oh my gosh, there are so many ways to fix a collage, it's incredible so you know you just saw me tear that thing in half it's all right i stuck it down again it'll be okay Ta -da! you just gotta keep moving on and at the end of the day you know it's only some paint it's only some paper it's only collage in our beautiful art journal to have fun it's all about having fun I did plaster it just then with the matte medium because the wallpaper is quite stiff and I want it to have a good solid coating. My pages are getting a little rounded on the end here. <laughs> Already that's looking fabulous. Now, you might think this gold is a little too much and that's okay. You don't have to put it on your collage. <laughs> but I'm going to put it on mine because I love the opulence. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's just fabulous. Look at those marks. Freedom, telling you, we're all about it today. There is an incredible liberating feeling when you're using the pastry brush and when you're looking at it now, looking at the marks, you can see that. Love it so much. Ta -da! Now this side, what about some silver? We could, too close, too close. Can see that already. All right, I'm going to have to rummage through the jelly prints here in my pile and see what would work. We could add some more gold if we wanted to. Mm, too much, too much. I know, I know, I hear you, I hear you. It's too much. And we want it to be the feature there. Okay, what about this one? This one is another impression plate. That's with the Tim Holtz stencil i made an impression plate and i did a whole stack of prints and that's not bad i don't mind that idea here's a little trim but it might be okay this one might work you can see the beautiful cross shapes of that stencil 
And I know this covers a lot of it. We might trim it down. I'm liking that. I think that's repeating that. So, yeah, let's cut it down a bit. Beautiful piece for the scrap bag. Just saying. That's probably better. And then we'll put something here. Hello, circles. Do we want to add bronze circles? That's not bad. That's not bad. It's an option. It's continuing the bronze from there to there. That's definitely an option. I don't mind that option. Mm, what else? Uh, we could use one of the glorious roses. That's kind of a nice one. Nice shape. Uh, that could work. Too much black? Maybe. Maybe it could work there. You know, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Mm. We could put the rose this side. Which way? That way. Like that. Just saying, we could. It's not a bad option. We could pull that center piece out and the gold would come through. Yes. Yes. Well, what about if we put one of the gold ones here? That side. That side? What about, can we do that? Can we put one each side? Or is that too much? Have I ever stopped before when it was too much? <laughs> you know, I'm going to take the middle piece out. So that'll, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't care if it's too much. Do we want them to be the same, sitting in the same place? Which is about, if we do, they would sit there. I don't mind it. I can live with that. What do you think? Well, let's put this background down and think about it. Okay, we'll think about it. I absolutely love that you saw me make these glorious papers and now you see me use them for collage. It's fantastic. What a great idea this was. <laughs> I think so because I am just loving it. Now, um, I'm putting that just under those little crosses there. On that edge, I like that edge. It's a lovely raw edge. I know it covers a lot of them, but that is just beautiful. I love it. Now, I'm going to definitely tear out the centerpiece of this one, and I'm going to put it on, and then we're going to tear out the centerpiece of that one and put it on, and they'll be amazing. I love that this piece comes Taking it out of the middle just brings that colour through and that's really fun. This is my beautiful handmade rose that you saw me attack with the shimmery gold <laughs> Isings. Yes, I'll say attack because I was in a bit of a frenzy and I did paint out quite a few. So... Let's look and see. Are you ready? Are you ready? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yes. Yes is all I can say about that. I'm loving it. That's going to go there. Love that black and white coming through. We've got a nice row of crosses there. We've got a lovely row of crosses down there. So I think it should sit there. The question is, do we want this circle, which we have to have it, this side to sit in the same line. And I think, which is like one knuckle, I know, serious measurements. I think we do. I do think that we do want that to sit the same line. Okay, if you insist, let's do it. Love this beautiful paper. Handmade roses from Thailand. I'll put all the links at the bottom of the video. I always do. Um, this is an Australian company where I got this particular paper from because they are happy to ship to beautiful New Zealand. Uh, and I will put the links there if you're in any of the countries that is close enough to be shipped to. Probably not in America, but in America, you can find this at the Mulberry Papers. That website's amazing. I went on there, put a whole heap of stuff in my cart. Uh, went to the checkout. The shipping was astronomical. Took them all out again. 
<laughs> it was actually quite depressing. <laughs> but then I found other websites for papers where they can ship to me without costing me my kidney. That's fabulous. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick both those down and they are just glorious. It makes me happy. That's all I can say. And right now, really, that's all we need just to create art that makes us happy. Don't get too stressed out and technical about it. If you like it and it's making you happy, then just do it. Make art, not war. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Fabulous. Let's do that. Yes. Look how glorious that looks. I'm loving it. That is beautiful. Right. Righto. Let's go the black one. We're going to do it roughly a knuckleful. Roughly the same spot because it'll look great. Okay. So I'll let that dry and I'm pretty happy with that. I know it's a little wild and crazy, I know, but, you know, that's where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> a little wild and crazy. I love this. Look at this. Look how cool that gold looks under there, that scribbly mark. I love that. I love the feeling of those marks. It's just beautiful. I love this script underneath. My glorious wallpaper samples. Oh, love them. Beautiful impression plate print with my glorious textured black and white and another beautiful gold rose. Ta-da! So this is pages um, seven and eight of week three using black and white with metallic highlights. Yes. Doesn't that sound fancy? Oh my gosh. We are so fancy. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll show you when that's dry and yay! Another week in our 100 days of collage, baby. We are kicking goals. The pages are still a little soft and damp, even though I did blast them with a heat gun. And they're looking absolutely fabulous. Bit of a trim. And look how glorious these pages look. Oh, so, <laughs> so happy. So happy. Really, that's what you've got to do. Just paint yourself happy. Right, so let's have a recap of our week of black and white with metallic highlights. Yay! Page one, page two, loving both of them. Little bit of bronze in there. Page three and four, yes, they're intense, but we're loving them, right? And they're meaningful and symbolic, and I was feeling it. Yes, <laughs> Okay, page five and six, absolutely beautiful. Little splash from the past there with my cello. And this glorious stencil from PM Artist Studio, which is actually a collage element. I'm loving it. It's just beautiful. Page seven and eight, they're still drawing. They are gorgeous. I'm loving the contrast of the circles. I love the colors coming through them both. I love them both. This looks cool. My fabulous bronze and black wallpaper sample and the glorious gold splash with the pastry brass, which you right now is my absolute favorite. I've got it there with that mark making and in the white of the mark making and the fabulous background of the glorious impression plate. Yay! It's all looking beautiful. These are still drying, but they're drying up well. And that's a wrap for week three. How exciting. Oh my gosh, it's going by so fast. That's what I think anyway. Now I have an abundance of papers left over from the black and white. So I may be using them again another day. Now next week, we're going to start a series within the series. I know. It's very mysterious. <laughs> so you're going to have to come back and watch and be part of the new series within this series. Can't wait for next week. That's going to be very exciting. Um, more beautiful collages. We'll be doing eight collages each week in the same theme. And next week's theme, you're going to have to wait and come back and see. Now, I hope you have a fabulous time this week with your glorious black and white. Remember, you're allowed to use a little bit of bling, a little bit of metallic with them. 
and um yeah i can't wait to see what you create show me in my facebook group your beautiful collages hashtag 100 days of collage and then i click on that and i see all the glorious posts i'm just loving it so much it's the first thing i do when i wake up i know but it is before i get out of bed i lay there for at least half an hour and i look at all the glorious collages that people are submitting in the beautiful Facebook page. I'm just loving it. <sighs> it's just nice to be connected, doing a similar project and enjoying the creativity. Now, don't stress out about how your collages are going. Just enjoy the process. If you're not up to this number, it doesn't matter. Just keep daily creating or every second day or whatever, even just every once a week. It doesn't matter. If you want to be part of this glorious project, you just jump in any time and be a part of it. There isn't any strict hard and fast rules. It's just all about creating together, encouraging each other, and getting through the moment that we're in intact, right? <laughs> With some mental faculties left. I'm serious. <laughs> so I really hope you have a great week creating with this fabulous theme. I know I did. I know it was intense, but it's been a full on week. That's all I'm saying. Next week's going to be better. So keep encouraged, keep your chin up, keep creating beautiful art. And I'll see you again next week in the studio. Yay!